Hi friends, welcome back. Remember last week when we did that science experiment where the heat made the balloon rise? Well, today we're gonna to do another science experiment. It's called fireworks in a jar, but I'm gonna be using a glass pitcher. So this is what we're gonna to do to start out with. And it's actually better than real fireworks because it doesn't make any sounds. Okay, ready? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the pitcher up about three-fourths of the way up. A little bit more is fine. Okay? And then I'm going to move the water off to the side. And in this jar, I'm going to take some, I have canola oil, but you can use any oil you want if you're going to try this at home with mom and dad. And we're going to measure three tablespoons. So this is my measuring spoon. And I'm going to count out three tablespoons. One, help me count. two, and three. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this up and put it to the side. Now I have some food coloring, and this is what we're gonna do with the food coloring. I'm gonna take, start with the blue, and I'm gonna put in five or six drops. If you put in a little extra, that's fine too, but right on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to close up the blue and then I'm going to try some red and I'm not going to put the red right on top of the blue. I'm going to put it off to the side of the blue. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next, we're going to try some green and I'm not going to put it on top of the blue. I'm not going to put it on to the red. I'm going to put the side of the red. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And the last one we're gonna do is yellow. Not on top of any of the other colors though. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have this in here. Now these this food coloring is made from a water base. So it's a little bit heavier than the oil. Oil is a bit less dense, so it's a little bit lighter. So now I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna mix this up. And really, I'm not mixing the um, food coloring there. It's not mixing into the oil because they're different densities. One's heavier, the uh, food coloring, and one is lighter, the oil. But it mixes up and breaks up all the colors inside. Now I'm gonna bring the water back. And again, the water is denser than the oil. So the water is heavier. That's the way we explained it in preschool. The water is heavier and the oil is lighter. So when I pour the oil into the water, it will go down because of gravity, but it will come right back up. The oil will float on top of the water. And then we need to watch carefully what the um, food coloring does. You ready? Here goes. Okay, now watch, it's all coming back up to the top. So now let's watch and see. Oh, do you see some colors coming down there? Do you see that? Do you see some colors coming down? Let's see what we see. Oh, I see some green and some blue and some red over here. And you see those colors coming down, kind of like fireworks shooting down? Let's watch and see what happens for a minute. Oh, well, I see farther back and inside more. I see more colors coming down. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? It's like fireworks in a jar without the sounds. Let's keep watching what happens. Oh, cool. Look at all those colors coming down. Isn't that cool? Wow, that's awesome. Okay, as you guys keep watching the colors, I'm going to tell you what your assignment's going to be. Ask mom or dad to run off a journal page for you, and I want you to draw what you observed, what you saw happen when we added the water colors to the oil, and then we added the oil to the water. And what did you see happen? Can you draw that in your journal? And then can you ask mom or dad to post that to our Google Photos? Okay, have fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.